Hello, walk back to what I'm making speed, and let me just save it real quick. Hold on. And we actually perfectly filled three of these pages with the end of Good as well. Yeah. Hello, and back to what I'm making speed, and today we are starting off on the Connor route path. <sighs> I've already wasted a bunch of time in Monochrome Mobius today. If there's one issue that I have, my god, that's, it's very, very annoying to keep yourself topped off on MP. I guess I can partially blame myself for running headlong into powerful enemies that make me spend a lot of MP. But still, maybe make the shops sell more than a singular MP restorative item and make it so you don't have a maximum of 9 in your inventory space. When the MP item needs three to top, completely top up your MP. That's the only grievance I have thus far. Oh, and the high definition Kima Mouse. Nobody likes the high de definition Kima Mouse. Ugh. Anyways, uh, don't touch the merchandise is what we're supposed to do here. No matter how much you wanted it, I couldn't take the shop's merchandise. For now, I need to strengthen my resolve. Yes, ma'am, the fruit milk will be uh, 120 yen. <laughs> oh, if you look closely, the ramun is only 100 yen. If you buy it now, take it, you thief. <laughs> As I said, it'll be 120 yen. 100. 120. Still crazy how the fucking aggressive Tsundere is swayed towards the MC by a singular fucking gesture of kindness, which most people would do probably. Like, motherfucker, it's 120 yen. That's like. <laughs> Like, what the fuck is 120 yen in dollars? Hold on, let me just... Uh, yen to dollar. 120 yen. That is... 86 cents. What's it in euro? Eighty-three cents. That is less than a buck. Like, come on. That again, technically, it'll probably like come out to uh, 90 cents for both. Anyways, because I'm the type to be like, listen up. I don't want any copper coins in my fucking, uh, in my fucking wallet. Because they'll never get used. I accidentally recently, actually recently, paid for like a. By recently, I mean literally yesterday after work. I mean Wednesday, of course. Technically, at time by the at the day this comes up, that is uploaded. I will have gone to work the day before, on the upload day as well, because I also have a shift tomorrow. The just the late shift instead of the morning shift. <coughs> But yeah, uh, after I was done with my shift on Wednesday, uh, I basically wanted to buy like a drink for my way home, and it was like 90 cents. So I started pulling out like one cent coins one after another. Then I got to like 60 with one with uh, like 10 cents coin. I mean 10 cent coin. I managed to get to 60 bu uh, 60 cents with just 10 cent coins, and then I pulled out the copper and filled out the rest. Uh, the like the left over 30 cents just with like one, two, and f maybe I think one singular five cent coin. <laughs> so that was fun. <laughs> Anyways. クレアちゃん。それなら私のお父さん。うわ。これらの子。はい。遠慮せず父さん。お近づきの印だと思って。そうか。そういうことなら何でやってもいいぞ。why are you acting so proud all of a sudden? 
Sumiyoshi practically guzzled down the entire container. Fruit milk as sent by watched over her with a smile. <laughs> you just called it fruit flavored milk. There's multiple fruits. Uh, I, I assume it's strawberry flavor? That's berry, not fruit. But you know, some people don't care about that. Guess banana, maybe. It's a weakness. We've learned it firsthand. Senpai pitted Tsumiyoshi's hand. I expected her to resist, but uh, she was at Senpai's mercy. By the way, uh, why are you here, Senpai? You live in the Pine Dorms, right? You must have a bath at your place. Hold on, let me check. Skip only skips the red text, so test. Test successful. Actually, I wonder if, in, if we're doing Kana's route next, especially since, like, after seeing Kurea's route, a lot of stuff about the Kana's family has become quite intriguing. So I am highly interested. Also, I'm just gonna, like, preemptively fuck. Preemptively open the censorship. Because I thought, hey, that's gonna, uh, there's gonna be that happening soon. I didn't have to censorship open, motherfucker. Anyways, uh, the right choice in this situation, aka the choice for Kana. Should be. Goko. Also, completely off topic. Oh, hold on. Completely off topic, but I randomly like found a fucking Dojin earlier of Blue Archive, and it's like it's like a like a hypnosis app thing. But Honoka, aka like one of the girls, got the app and used it on Sensei, and he's like, Ah, yes, do whatever you want with me. And he, she just immediately becomes beyond confused where he just kisses her on the cheek, sits down on a bed and pulls her into her, his lap and starts patting her while giving her a lap pillow. And she's just lying there like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> also, I found another manga that I've started reading now. Uh, Ramiyayana. Which, uh... I was surprisingly fucked immediately. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, I saw the... I mean, I saw... The, I, I see the art style, so I kind of assumed it would be fucked. But still, uh, I, I saw the MC and just decided, you know what? Maybe I'll give it a chance. <laughs> do, do not blame me. <coughs> Anyways, uh... Right, just... Uh, Kana's route. Be a gentleman and look for a towel. A.K.A. the thing we did in... Kurea's route as well. Since this choice didn't even show up, it just auto-slotted. Be a gentleman and look for a towel. I assume. Anyways, uh, be a gentleman and look for a towel. Yep, like I said, what we already did. Now we just have to watch for extended periods of times. I assume after the encounter with the kettle, we'll be actually getting into a route. I guess may as well uh, turn off the feed again. While I'm skipping here, a lot of things to talk about while I'm doing this. Hmm. Well, uh, Mortal Kombat Mobius is fun. Very fun. Uh, though, like I said, I keep dying because I try to run into people constantly, way too fucking often.
Ah, oh, there I am. We appear to have reached... <coughs> Anyways, uh... Turn that on again. Uh, she said something about it being a nice boss. Let's listen to her say it again. Fresh out of the bath, I opened the door and sat down in my room to enjoy the cool air on my flushed skin. The residence was empty and eerily quiet, but that only made sense given that Nisma and the others were taking care of cleaning up the park. I wanted to help, but I would only have been in their way. It was best if I stayed home, like I was told. Tamahiko had seemingly protected Senpai after she had been left behind, and she was now safely resting at home. <laughs> The chief took responsibility for delivering her underwear and pendant. <laughs> so that should have come as a momentarily, momentary relief for them. <laughs> I'd heard Keisuke delivered Kurea's underwear to her personally, so the only, so the entire matter should more or less be resolved at this point. This <laughs> Quite wildly whispered as I look at myself in a full-length mirror. I was covered in cuts and bruises again. It would usually, it would be easy enough to hide my school uniform, but if my classmates were to see these wounds, what sort of strange rumors would start circulating? I hated feeling so embarrassed. Especially, I especially did not want Keisuke Oi or Kurea to see these wounds. Not now that we had finally become friends. However, I was expected to explain the situation to Keisuke and the others tomorrow. I needed to tell them about my power too. I promised it out of my own volition, yet I was a bit reluctant. The other me, who had golden eyes and a much more casual speech pattern, spoke. I was not the least bit phased as the me in the mirror was only borrowing my form. Her name was Suzuka. I just noticed uh, they talk about like her how her family is very closely related to an axe because of a story and she, uh, she actually has like an axe accessory on her belt I approve of that the barbarian approves <laughs>坂上の家に生まれた以上、戦いの中に生き、戦いの中で死ぬが定めじゃ。分かっていますでも、まあ確かに、ここ数年は戦らしい戦も起きておらぬからな。気が抜けるのもわかる。じゃが、今回は面白
わらわのようにならぬようせいぜい頑張れ。Reflection momentarily wavered and I returned to my original self. Suzuka must have gone dormant again. I'd add another sigh and take a good long look at myself in the mirror. I was perfectly aware that my cheeks had grown faintly red. k a i s k e and I did not have that kind of relationship. I had spoken so few times that I could still count them. And yet, they do say that time is of no consequence when it comes to love. I paused and realized that nobody else was in the room. Embarrassing. k e n s u k e huh? It's easy to talk to and get along with. His kind yet perverted nature reminded me a lot of Nisama. Well, apparently, he wanted to be my friend even after witnessing my power. That made me happiest of all. Maybe it would be best to prepare an outline for tomorrow's explanatory meeting. That should make it easier to follow.、But、just make k e n s u k e happy. Would he praise me again? That would make me happy. <laughs> At some point, I realized that my reflection in the mirror was wearing a smile, which came as a surprise. Even though it was a bit embarrassing, it didn't feel so bad. I never felt this way before, and my body felt tingly and oddly restless. And yet, also slightly uneasy. If k e s a n and I were to grow closer, would I become aware of what these feelings truly meant? The next day flew by and it was already lunchtime. Aoi, Kura, and I were called to the committee room. The other club members wanted to take the opportunity to explain the controvers-、uh, contro- controversy surrounding the teacup of fortune, which was why we were summoned here. Is this still skippable again? It's、so、skippable again.、Yeah, there we go. Jagamano Joho, Ichi Hayaku, Tai Tekreta, Okade, Higai, Mosai Shogan, Nikuito Merade Masta, she, so this n e 私もそう思います。ニセウラさんに脅されたにもかかわらず、先輩がさらわれたことをあかりちゃんに知らせようとしてくださいましたし。はい。下着とペンダントを無事に回収できたのも、ケイスケくんたちのおかげです。クレハもありがとね。あなたが片付けを手伝ってくれたおかげで、迅速に対処できたわ。別に大したことをしたつもりはないんだが。Kodo seemed, ta- seemed taken aback by Akari's sudden praise and bashfully looked away. It felt great at helping people, so everyone involved usually walked away with a smile. Skip. So, what do you think? I think it's a good thing. え、と、それは協力するしないは別として御三家とやらの今後の行動方針を聞かせてくれないか行動方針そうだ話を聞けばこの委員会はほぼ御三家のメンバーで構成されているようじゃないかこのまま委員会と関わっていたら私たちは再
earlier that it was possible the other mystic treasures could, treasures could be targeted, but their security system was flawless. The majority of the mystic treasures on Miyajima were safeguarded behind the rock door in the basement of the Kibitsumiya estate. There shouldn't be any need to worry on that front. Their only outstanding task was to capture the fake Uda, who was hiding somewhere on the island. ニセウラを捕らえるため、島中に忍者部隊を配置するが、学業には影響ないから心配するな。坂上兄弟には学園周辺をパトロールするよう、キビツミヤから命令が下っている。意義はあるかあ、いえ、ありません。それと、キビツ
それではよろしくお願いします。Right back at you. Also, thanks a lot for your help this afternoon. Wouldn't be here for right now if you hadn't said so. あ、いえ、それは私のためでもあると言いますか。Huh? あ、いやいやいやいや、なんでもありません。I have kind of funny look when she blushed and shook her head from side to side. Her reactions were as amusing as ever. Her shy and reserved demeanor turned belligerent and bold the moment she entered battle. It was quite something. I thought Kamakichi and the ninja, or the ninjas would be tagging along with us, but they had apparently been ordered to keep an eye on their own individual sectors. I mean, that meant Kana and I would be on our own. Asked no way to keep an eye on Otome in the event of another attack from the fake Buddha. They were both members of the swim club, so I doubted anyone would think otherwise when they were, if they were together. I assumed even Tamaiki would manage to keep the cruelty towards Aoi to a minimum with his beloved sister around. So, today, I'm going to see you in a little bit. Speaking of which, uh, what exactly will we be doing while patrolling the area? <laughs> 怪しい人がいないかどうか見回るのと遺跡などが荒らされていないか調べることですね、mm, そうですねですが犯罪の抑止も大事なお仕事の一つですそれに偽セウラさんの狙いがわからない以上地道な捜査の積み重ねが事件を解決する一番の糸口になると思います Get it. It's like analyzing the fragments of an earthen, of earthen figures in an excavation to investigate the characteristics of the entire historical site based on its composition or some similar. Hi, so this is Masani Sona Kanji. This is Shitsudohi. Tsumari, Nisera Sanga no Costa, Nanaka no Koseki Gareba. Arutedo, I tell no Stoto Nariga Wakarandis. Sereni. ニセウラさんがどこをどのように調べていたかも分かれば狙っている秘宝もおのずと分かってあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあ私もケイスケさんとお話ししてるとすごく楽しいです。See, I'm glad. Also makes me really happy whenever you, I see you smile. You have a really cute smile. ええー、か,からかわないでください。恥ずかしいです。Kana's face glowed bright red once again at my comment. As she hung her head, it almost looked like a steam might rise from its top. We weren't going to make any substantial pro progress on our patrol if this kept up. Better save the flirting for later. Alright, let's start covering a little ground. <laughs> She started to walk away, and Gana bri walked briskly behind me with her head long, hung low. I hadn't planned on teasing her so much, but everything I had said had, I said had been the truth. I'd better cool it, though. Probably pass out again if I told her that. Though there was some distance between us, we walked side by side as we patrolled the outer perimeter of the academy. If we hadn't spotted anything remotely suspicious, be it a person or a desiccated ruin, but that would have been far too easy. We found ourselves standing in front of a familiar building around the time the sun was starting to set. Called correctly, its name was I Want You. It was a student only bathhouse affiliated with the Sakakami family. Huh? It's just an ordinary bathhouse. Do we really need to go inside? この銭湯こそが一番重要な場所だと。ん、うすずか。えっと、坂上家の小池番といったところでしょうか。An advisor, huh? 
As you mentioned it, Grandpa had mentioned to me before that each of the three great families had superiors. Or even more distinguished than the head of any given family, their orders are absolute. The big show of the Sakagami family was named Suzuka. Name, I recall hearing it once before. Irasai! Hmm, Mikichi. Oh, Kensuke de Wanaiko. Soreni Kanamo. Dogudane. Found Kabukichi sitting at the counter inside the bathhouse, and it appeared no one else was here. Atskaresama desu, Nisana. Ah, Kanamo, Atskare. So no use that all. Nanimo Seka wa Agaranakata Mitai dane. Ma, so Kiwo Toskoto wa Nayo. Dose Otosna, Akani Stamai. Kokoa Sento Dakara. Okay, we're done here. Let's head back. But the Atano Gago, none of us through Shinide. Mukashinga, it's not Sido. Shop. We'd be here until sound down if I commented on every single one of your jokes. I know the sun is already set, but still. Nah, this guy could be really annoying. I tried ignoring him since this conversation was getting dragged out too. Oh,そうだ. この前は悪かったね。僕の代わりにバントを務めてくれたそうじゃないか。Nobody else was around, so I didn't have much choice. Arigato. Mikichi lifted his head, casually swung his arms around Kano's shoulder, and attempted to escort her through the bathhouse curtains. There's nothing obvious about it. Going into the bath with your adult sister is a total crime. Like hell I am! What sort of base is that supposed to be? T for tub? This was what I got for playing along with this stupid joke. My body was on fire and I didn't even step foot into the bath. No way, my senses often differ with common sense. Does that mean to you two have gone that far? そうはいけないよかな。僕たちは実際に F kind of looked down at her modest chest with tears in her eyes, Kabukichi instantly went on the offensive and clenched his fist. <laughs> Uh, it was totally your fault. Huh, me? <笑>僕がそんなことするはずがない。さては、ケスケ。君の仕業だな。あ、みい。昔の金は裏部圭介。やはり貴様を生かしておくわけにはいかない。かなを泣かしたつみ。死をもって償うがいい。うれ。結構タウンで。ええ、ごちゃごちゃうるさい。めざ。あそこ聞いてバルトワーズウィズフ
It also happened yesterday. Your personality changed at the drop of a hat. What's in, what in the world is going on? What was that? Was that Yukana? That kind of turned her gaze towards full length mirror in the lobby. I followed her line of sight and. <laughs> her, her, her pose is even different from inside the mirror, so that is a completely separate entity, apparently. <coughs> oh, for God. I don't have to take screenshots for CGs anymore. I, I don't have to save for screenshots anymore. Huh? Kana reflected in the mirror, curled her lips, and smiled at me. But the actual Kana in question didn't appear to be smiling at all. She was staring intently at her reflection in the mirror. Her voice was also coming from inside the mirror. To Kana, she had a rather casual speech pattern, too. Uh, what in the world are you? I would ordinarily kill anyone, and it's surprising enough to even uh, to even John Woo. Uh, it's surprising enough that even John Woo would have probably piss himself. <laughs> Made that witty comeback on reflex, and Kana, the Kana in the mirror smiled with amusement. However, it was different from the soft smile that had been on Kana's face until shortly ago. It was like she was looking down on me, condescending smile, so to speak. <laughs> Reflection added that comet as her proud golden eyes simmer, shimmered before me. First generation head of the Sakagamis, why would someone like that be here? And for, uh, for that matter, talking to me through a mirror. <coughs> Kana's explanation went like this Golden eyed Kana, the one that pursued the fake Ura, had apparently a uh, hand appeared due to some trance. In fact, the person inside her had taken over Kana's body completely. Kana and Suzu Kana's and Suzuka's spirit dwelled within one body. In case of an emergency, Kana would allow Suzuka to take over. Whichever spirit had receded to the background wouldn't show on the surface, but only in reflective surfaces like mirrors. They, couldn't, they could even conduct a conversation with outside parties. <laughs> Suddenly, Suzuka, Suzuka's reflection was replaced with Kana's familiar figure. Then the Golden Eyed Kana turned to, uh, turned to face me. I don't get it. Reflection in the mirror let out a large yet terribly adorable yawn. Once Kana realized what she'd done, her cheeks turned bright red. See, I get in there. Kana わらわが体の主導権を握ると普段使わぬ力を使って体力的にも消耗が激しい結果的にスズカ snapped her fingers and changed places with the finger inside the mirror again kind of having returned to a normal yawn once again どうな一度入れ替わるとかなは表でも裏でも眠くなるのじゃスズカ様 Context. It's important. <laughs> Again, context. It's important. 
じゃがいざという時にうまくできるよう今のうちに激しい出し入れにも慣れておくべきじゃぞやがてその激しい刺激が癖になりカナも自分から求めるようになるのじゃよだれを垂らしながらゆっくりと足を開いて<笑>鈴鹿様もっとたくさんしてくださいと。This has no need to sound this overly kinky. Go. Suzuka, what are you talking about? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Antisocial? I feel like it's more supposed to be like closeted, like closet pervert and stuff like that instead of antisocial. Huh? Right. Why was she saying that to me instead of Suzuki? guy? Didn't really mind either way. Oh, wait a second, what in the world were we talking about again? Oh, right, we were talking about how Kana likes it rough. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I know. Uh, the tiniest bit of teasing caused Kana to blush and shoot me a resentful look. I'd never seen her soak before, but she was pretty cute like this, too. Uh, um, anyways, uh, why does it wear you out so much when the two of you switch places? Hmm. So, 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 身体能力を増幅させる秘宝と考えれば分かりやすいかな Mystic treasure that applies physical abilities Sounds like the old wife's tale about Yubi Tsuhiko eating the peach うーんそれはちょっと違うかも Yubi Tsuhiko は桃を食べることにより体そのものを変化させたじゃがワラオの場合は肉体に変化は生じない器が変わらぬまま無理やりに超人的な身体能力を引き出されればどうなると思う ?Body won't be able to keep up and it'll whittle away at its stamina. Is that it? さよ。幼少の頃からきちんと訓練を受けておらぬと、体力以前に体そのものが壊れる。カナの華奢な体で一撃で岩を壊せるほどの怪力を制御しておるのも、日頃の鍛錬の賜物なのじゃよ。Ah, you've got a cute face and a be you've got an incredible body underneath those clothes. Sure. Again, why was she getting so worked up about it? Kind of was a girl after all, she probably didn't want anyone to think she was ripped under her clothes. とも、入れ替わりについてはそんな感じじゃな。Let's see. Kind of sudden change personality and her only like super strength were caused, well, both caused by Suzuka, the first generation head of the Sakagami family, which is which places with anyone think you rationally would never believe such a preposterous story, but. I do, I'm having a conversation with her after all. Yeah, crazy things like mystic treasures exist, so simple personality swap isn't all that surprising in comparison. Kind of looked genuinely relieved from the bottom of her heart, wondering whether I would accept Suzuka, must have kept her on pins and needles. <coughs> Sure, that's fine, but why only tell me? You do? Kana's Kaikyo, I didn't see Kana's Kaikyo, I didn't see Kana's Kaikyo. Poking around, I've gotten the feeling that Suzuko is a rather haphazard person. It's 
especially when her personality was so different from Kana's. Akane, the others know about both of you, don't they? Which means Owen and Kure are the only ones caught up in this mess who don't know about Suzuka. We could probably manage to keep this from those two. But again, they could be pretty sharp when they want it to be. Got a feeling they'd catch on to the weird phenomena surrounding Kana eventually. That reminds me, I noticed your eye color changed during the meeting this afternoon too. Was that Suzuka's doing too? <laughs> you appreciate it, but was that really okay to allow an outsider like me in? Nah, it's not like that or anything. <laughs> Don't cackle! Uh, Wait, you're supposed what? I felt her clinging gaze on my lower half and quickly covered my crotch. Steam slowly rose from Kana's head as she watched the scene from the sidelines. Oh, <coughs> 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 so, like he's just like ah, uh, maybe huge in other aspects as well. He's just, I assume so. <laughs> That's right, don't mock virgins. Kana hasn't seen my junk yet either. Huh? Why are you running away? A virgin is not allowed to breathe the same air? Kana backed off the moment those words flew out of my mouth, but she quickly returned to my side with a flustered look on her face. Why are you getting so flustered all of a sudden? Judging by how she was acting, had she gotten the wrong idea about me? <笑>我らは飲み込んだ通り、お主は面白いの。かなよ、良きパートナーを見つけたな。パートナーってそんな私とケスケさんは。はいはい。パトロールする上での相棒という意味じゃから、いちいち赤くなるな。<笑> Suzuka must have anticipated her reaction as she shot a nonchalant smile at Inkana's direction. It's a weird sight, because Inkana's reflection should have been uh, should have been making the same face. All indications suggested it was highly possible she helped me on a whim. Don't stay get busy and you shouldn't allow any discretions without asking people first. <laughs> Second, she blinked as Suzuka abruptly vanished from within the mirror, leaving a bewildered and anxious looking Kana in her wake. <sighs> Kana groaned, her face beat red, and her eyes met mine in the mirror. Even the nape of her neck began to change colors. That, that panic reaction, those flushed cheeks. Now it's gone all right. Has Suzuka receded for now? Hmm. 
Sure enough, she couldn't ex exactly speak to anyone but her host if she stayed inside Connor's body all the time. It made it sound like Suzuka only came out in emergencies. Say, for instances like these, where she, they, she explained their situation to the mirror. It was probably exceedingly rare for her to talk to other people. Still, she's very laid back. Very spirited, you might say. Kind of smiled shyly, sounding as though she were talking about a mischievous older sister and placing her hand against her chest. <coughs> I felt the word wicked probably suited Suzuka better than kind, but if kind of said so, maybe she was right. And now Kamkichi and the ninjas were practically glued to her at all times, and now Suzuka too. I was amazed she could keep such a meek f smile on her face. Kinda, you might actually be one, be one heck of a big shot. Found her shy smile to be stupidly adorable. But Takan and I would hit it off just fine. But uh, would I actually be able to get along with Suzuka? Next day, Aoi woke me up and we walked to school together. As usual, the Japanese history teacher's mono monotone lecture went in one ear and out the other, and I looked up at the blue sky from my seat. Feiguda never did appear at I Want You yesterday, so everything ended rather uneventfully. Our plan going forward was to look around campus and use the school gate as our focal point. As an aside, why had we gone out of our way to patrol I Want You when it was sound like at least the uh, fake Uda would appear there. <laughs> you, uh, you underestimate the likelihood of the fake Uda going to I want you. Drastically. As the night wore on and Kana dozed off and had a chat with Suzuka when she swapped over and woke up. この that does imply that uh, going for Kana is a uh, two-in-one uh, two inclusion deal. Uh, you cannot have the uh, one without the other. Which I don't just mean like, oh yeah, you go out with one, you're gonna live with the other. Nah, uh, you, you fuck one, the other is going to like, personally come to your fucking doorstep and like, grab you by the goddamn lore, by the goddamn neck. Be like, okay, listen up, you did that to her, now do it to me or some bullshit. <laughs> Zuka had said that with a wicked smile, but I declined her invitation as hard as I could. I'd be in huge trouble if I followed after her and kinda happened to wake up. Kana and I were partners for the time being, so there was no way around it if you wanted to catch the Feigura. But again, it honestly sucked playing the chance to see Kana's naked body slip through my fing right through my fingers. <coughs> huh? Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. The teacher suddenly called out to me, and I quickly turned my attention back to the blackboard in front of the class. When I did, Akari gave me an astonishing, astonished look from the neighboring seat. That was when the teacher's eye fell on the person sitting behind Akari. Astoundingly, Kana was snoozing away at her desk and looked awfully comfortable doing it. We were out patrolling until late last night, and she had to, so she had to be exceptionally worn out after switching places with Suzuka so many times. She looked so cute and peaceful, we better just leave her be. Of course, I was the only one who felt that way. The teacher saw Kana sleeping, cleared his throat, and then lightly knocked on her desk. <laughs> Oh, 
Kinda realized what she had done and tries to get a tried to get a handle on the situation, but only managed to yelp while turning red in the face. However, it didn't look like the teacher planned to let her off the hook so easily. Kana was in trouble. I'd better help her. Without the answer, Prince Naka, uh, Naka no Oe, Nakatomi no Kamatari in my notebook and showed her, for me, uh, showed her behind his back. Akira and Kamikichi were ready to jump into action, but they were too close to the teacher to fully react and simply slapped a distressed look on their faces instead. <gasps> Alright, Kana had seen my notes. We could, pull, uh, we could pull this off. To take a moment to collect herself, Kana smiled. <laughs> そがのイルカを暗殺した空で倒させて、大化の改新ということもありますが、それは誤りです。大化の改新が蘇我氏を滅ぼした後に行われた中野上の王子の強制改革運動のこと。中野上の王子、中富の鎌足りによる蘇我
パトロールだなんだと忙しくなりそうですからこういった機会は大切だと思います Otome popped her hands, hands together with a smile But the sound of it, Senpai enjoyed getting together and having a good time with everyone. She had looked pretty entertained when she drank at the party at the tea kettle, too. And、yeah, when she drank. <laughs> Boobs. Oh,、uh, what's up, Connor? Your、uh, eyebrows are super scrunched up. Anna's cheeks flared red and she turned away from me, looking quite frazzled. So tell me I said that out loud. Then again, it wasn't like I could help myself. Senpai's tits looked seriously tasty. A lucky suggestion, we all opened our lunch boxes and started eating. The lunchbox was always specially made a meteor born lunchbox X. The skeloid shape,、uh, shaped substance was probably a cream sauce or something of the same variety. I took a bite and immediately noticed the creamy taste and texture. It reminded me of a marinated ham and Napa cabbage soup. Yeah, the flavor is always spot on. The presentation is a little. Hey, what are you dissing me for? Respect my human rights! Yeah, reluctantly sat down following Akari's advice. I looked over and found Kana plucking up tiny beans and her chopsticks and quietly bringing them to her mouth. Acting almost like intoxicated. She responded in a drawn out fashion and kept shoveling the beans into her mouth at a constant speed. You could say Kana was only really there in body, but not in spirit. She seemed fun- it seemed she fundamentally lost sight of everything when something she loved was right in front of her. Nah, I said as much to Kana, but it didn't do anything special. I even gave her the wrong answer. <laughs> Kukichi was actually touching it to say that right to my face. It was gonna make me blush. <laughs>、uh, but then the mask it outfit makes us、uh, 90% less touching. Oh, the last 10% is bloodless. Don't get the wrong idea. What is it, Kana? Nisama to Keske san, Honto ni Nakaya san na na to my maste. That's so. So, Bok to Keske wa soul mate da kara. Yeah, yeah, har har. Da kara, serif wo awasete okre yo. Bok tachi, Honto ni tomo dashi nanda yo ne. That's what she believed, then I guess we are. In your own mind, anyway. <laughs> Wakichi tried to throw himself at his sister with tears in his eyes, but she completely ignored him. He fell to his knees and sobbed on the spot.、He、wound up playing dumb in the end, but it was honestly fun fooling around with Kumakichi. Friends, was it okay to consider as that? Yeah, it had to be. Again, I'd feel so gross as if I said it out loud.、Mm-hmm. Kind of tilted her head and now puzzled as she heard me mutter to myself. My old friendships weren't something you solidified out loud, it just came naturally. Hmm? 
Just then, Connor uh, suddenly held out a cup of tea to me. But this was no ordinary tea, it was faint but scent, which ever so mightily tickled my nose was. Just have alcohol. Ah, no, that was a great idea! You're right, I could drink booze without the others finding out like this. Thank you! Gave her a thumbs up and a wink, and Kana smiled bashfully in return. The alcohol was pretty washed down by the tea, but no one would think otherwise unless they stuck their noses in it. Oh, I get it. Because I said something about feeling gross, right? Yes. <coughs> See, thanks a ton, Connor. Makes me really happy to know you've got my back. Connor's cheeks instantly lit up when I patted her head, and she looked positively astonished by the gesture. Oh, sorry, did you not like being pat on the head? Sure. I could feel her smooth, sleek hair beneath my fingers as uh, she shot me a bashful smile for accommodating her request. So the diabetes is starting early in this one, I see. Hmm? Oh, nothing really. Craft Connor's gentle smile made my heart skip a beat. Connor sure was adorable. I love to keep running my fingers through her hair like this forever. What the heck? We're just getting to the good part too. Go away. Why was everyone acting like Kana was pregnant? How did this happen? Yes?Kana <laughs> was drawing her, Sakari was drawing her one sword, crisis mode, my life was in danger! C -c Calm down, there's all a misunderstanding. Oh wait, don't say misleading things! It's not like Kana and I are dating or anything. We're just patrolling partners, that's all. Huh? <coughs> uh, well, I won't, won't deny that. Hmm? Oh, that's just now. <laughs> hey, why'd you come out? Hey, don't drink my booze. <laughs> But it will be the end of the booze. Mm, uh, that's easier said than done. とにかく。笑わも久々に酒を堪能したいのじゃ。かなは下戸じゃから普段家では飲まぬし。それにお主となら楽しく飲めそうじゃからな。うん、そうだ。お酒って何の話? Mm, that, that's nothing! <laughs> God, Suzuka really was arrogant! Wasn't she only supposed to switch places during emergencies? Did she want the boo- want to drink booze that badly? Well, it did make me have to say, make for fun drinking parties. <laughs> 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 Suzuka snatched the flask on my hand and gulped down the contents in a single glug. I had some strong unfiltered booze in there. 
なんぼじゃお酒おいしいのよ、uh, Hey your face is bright red are you okay? 大丈夫な問題ないもっといい酒を頼む Oh she is fucking shit faced You don't look fine at all Couldn't be she loved booze but she was a total lightweight She mentioned Kana was in the drink, so as long as she was possessing Kana's body, Suzuka would probably feel the effects too. Kesuke, Himano Kana te. Yeah, that's Suzuka. So no use that to Kana ni jijo wa kikasare te mitai ne. Yeah, I, I get the gist of her switching. So, do ya ra anata Kana dake ja nak te Suzuka ni mo kini rare ta yo ne. Hori azo go! Nani o koso koso hanashte oru no ra! Wara mo mazeru no ja! Ah, what's with you? Uh, Suzuka had slid her way in between me and Akari. She then ran a finger along my chest with an erring smile on her face. Ah! Flop! Suzuka untied the ribbon on her uniform with a smile and drew her rosy cheeks close to mine. Holy shit, what the fuck's that? Don't plop on me! There's no time for you to strip everyone's watching! What's that? <laughs> oh God! Look, always oh, totally taking the bait. Hey, don't turn this around on me when it, then drink on the sidelines like it's some kind of show. Ah, uh, come on! Is this this had gotten way out of hand? Gotten the picture loud and clear. Suzuka was a hell of a troublemaker. She was supposed to be a presence that only appeared when absolutely necessary. Suzuka, sama. Kana. お酒はこれくらいにしたまえ。午後の授業に差し支えるよ。ええ、もっと飲ませるのじゃ。中の人間のことも考えてください。その体はあなただけのものではないんですから。うん。仕方ないの。Bukichi said some unusually decent and took the cup from Suzuka. Came as a little as a little surprise to add as Kana's brother, he wouldn't allow such unruly behavior from his sister. Oh, two notes! <laughs> Strange, huh? Mm, Akira was glaring daggers at me. I couldn't help but look away. I couldn't say it. I couldn't possibly tell her that I brought the alcohol she drank. As she drank it, and everything got way out of hand. But that would leave all the talk about dating and stuff up in the air for now. Suzuka raised a hand, uh, thus turning the conversation over to me, for immediately falling to her knees. Then, after correcting her posture, Suzuka slowly looked upward. This time, Kana had taken her place in a drunken haze. Yeah, but more importantly, you look happy. Kana smiled sweetly, poured the rest of the flask into her cup, and greedily, uh, uh, greedily stuck out her tongue and sipped away at the alcohol. Hey, you're drinking it again! Are you for real? It was no use. Kana was pissed drunk. She had a smile of the... <laughs> she had a smile the likes of which she ordinarily never showed. <coughs> this set of Kana was pretty great too. Also was there something else you like? <laughs> Even the liquid courage doesn't help her, apparently. Now oh, come on, don't be shy, just tell me. 
わなくちゃいけませんか Yeah, I wish you would. I want to learn more about you. えっと、では、その、わ、私は、え、け、うーん、やっぱり言えませんあ、ah, she ran away! When I pressed the front answer, she turned teary-eyed and hid behind a nearby bench. ケースケさん、エッチで。What? Why am I getting called a pervert now? Could that have been something dirty? Well, yeah, if I forced her to tell me, she'd probably cry for real. Oh, well, kind of was cute when she got all flustered and nervous, too. まさかお茶にお酒が入っているなんてどうやらまた鈴鹿がいたずらしたみたいねケースケ悪いけど熊吉と一緒に花を教室まで運んでもらえる事情が事情だし保健室に運ぶわけにもいかないしねまあ、そ
The vigorously repelled chalk slammed into the ceiling. Particles of obliterated chalk rained down on Kana's head, masking her beautiful bobbed hair of white. Kana quickly nodded her head and sent white dust flying, which spurred her into another coughing fit. Just like what happened to me, they all laughed at Kana's expense. <laughs> Was dumb luck, just lucky, right, Kana? Sakagami, Urabe. Kana turned red ears and all and nodded at Tamagiko's warning. For someone as shy as Kana, this whole situation was probably pure torture. Uh, but then she turned and smiled at me for some reason. <laughs> Guess so, we look alike, huh? Right, right. I remember one time, I don't remember why it was, but uh, I, me and like a friend of mine were told to like stand out in the hallway because of something we did. And uh, basically, like, I asked, don't just class anymore, go out in the hallway. So, of course, so like, uh, like as we were told, we were out in the hallway and sat down in the hallway, like uh, under the hangers where the jackets were. And just sat down there, and the teacher came out and saw us sitting there. And was immediately got pissed. Like I fucking told you to stand out there, not sit. <laughs> that was a weird experience. <laughs> yeah. Walked out of the classroom, sat by side, and felt all oh, amused by the whole thing. Given a bashful smile, I assumed she felt the same way. And there was a reflection on the classroom in the classroom window. No, Suzuka had a. Sad, no, Suzuka had a satisfied look on her, on her face, too. The pillar is in a massive door, and an imposing structure reminiscent of castle gates. That was Rashomon, the academy gateway. His gates humongous every time I see it. It really doesn't seem like a gate that belongs to a school. I remembered that while standing before the Rashomon and gazing up at its majesty. The door which bore Phantom Thief Uda's flashy uh, aut uh, aut aut autograph immediately after I'd come to this uh, uh, island was now completely restored to its original beautiful texture. <laughs> Kana explained from beside me as she lovingly stared up at the gate, as expected of Kana the runes lover. Those eyes of hers sparkled whenever she spoke about something she liked. If classes were let out, Kana briefly returned home to attend a meeting with the ninjas. From the, uh, I, on the other hand, went back to my dorm room to change before meeting up with Kana at the school of the gates. Kana was once again wearing a kimono. She must have looked like a Japanese doll. So, are we patrolling around the Rashomon today? <laughs> Kana clenched her tiny fists to demonstrate her unwavering determination. <coughs> uh, you might, might be a precious historical site, but uh, a gate still a gate. Will the fake Uda really come to a place like this? In a rare turn, Kana looked at me critically. Uh, yeah, my bad. Made her mad. Come to think of it, Kana had been pretty ticked off that time I wrote my name all over the Rashomon. Ah, 
came to a senses, blushed, and quickly bowed her head. I uh, don't sweat it. Uh, we don't have any leads in the moment. Uh, at the moment, so we need to keep an eye out for even the smallest clue. So this. She fidgeted, she fidgeted about on her crimson face and nodded firmly. The disparity between how mature Kana uh, ordinarily acted and how passionate she got whenever anything related to the ruins came up was charming. Okay then, uh, why don't we get started? First off, we examined whether there were any signs that the Fekura had come to rush among them the past few days. I approached the gate and Kana trotted away up to me after a short delay. She reminded me of a timid little animal. The gate was showing its age after years of exposure to wind and rain, but it had maintained its original structure without a single fracture to speak of. The ruins of the Oni's castle, huh? The hand on the pillar and focused again on the Rashomon's foundation. The foundation buried beneath our feet were ruins that had, that, that had over a thousand years to their name. It makes you wonder if there's an Oni treasure buried beneath it, huh? ここに学園を建てるとき、徹底的な調査が行われたそうですから。ですよ、ポイントベッドウォルフ like Kana, Suzuka had quite the arrogant, audacious personality. She was very kind, according to Kana. But was she really? Nah, it's fine. I feel bad making you go to the trouble. Let's just get our investigation on the way. With a firm nod, she humbly fell out after me. Kana really was a great girl. The type I'd like to make my little sister. My real sister's face popped into my head for a moment, but I quietly drove that image straight out of my mind. You like stop calling her your little sister. Like stop saying you want her as your little sister, I mean. Afterwards we completed the general investigation of Rashomon and extended our search for traces of the fake Uda around the gate's perimeter. However, we came out empty handed, be it fake Uda hadn't come near here since the incident the other day. Oh boy, it's already this late. I looked up and found the sun already setting along the western horizon. Dusk was near and the only students left on campus were two, the two of us. Oh my god, I just realized there's a chance that someone will wake me up tomorrow morning thinking I have the morning shift. Being like, oh my god, why are you still asleep? You're gonna be late for work. And I'm gonna be so pissed have, have, having been woken up like, like almost 8 a.m. Uh, like almost 8 a.m. And just wanting to, like, murder something. <coughs> I looked up. Uh, I already read that. Right back at you, Kana. It's too bad we didn't find anything, though. But these low-profile investigations will add up to be our greatest clue in solving this mystery, right? Didn't really feel like our efforts were in vain, though. Going out on patrol with Kana was fun. She drew on the uh, occasional archaeological factoid and was incredibly knowledgeable. It was really nice having a friend I could talk to about these kinds of subjects. Her animated facial expressions whenever we got to talking about ruins were cute, too. Whoops, I was staring at her again. Still, the way she fidgeted around in place was too adorable for words. There's nothing funny about your face, you're just so cute. <laughs> no, I'm not teasing, if anything, but I'm anything but a liar.